A lot of you know me as a woodworker, but really I'm just a craftsman. And today, no woodworking. We're gonna show you how to perfectly craft a latte for your morning, afternoon, or evening, whatever you're into. Let's do it. The human torch was denied a bank loan. Uh, space bar? Yep. Okay, so if you're wondering why our coffee is so much more superior than other coffee shops, it's because we hand carve each individual bean. Just kidding. But I am a huge advocate for supporting your local community, so I suggest that you find a coffee shop that you like and use their beans. We are using Lux Central beans and we love them. It's what I've used for years. When you're pulling espresso, it's very important to have very, very fine grinds. For most consumer grade grinders, that means you're gonna to need to set your grinder as fine as it can possibly go. In our case, we're using a Mazer, so it's not all the way as fine as it can go, but it's set up perfectly for our machine. So now you're gonna to wanna to caress the rim of your port of filter. In, the, in this industry, this would be called a rim job. So the idea is to, to level off the grinds and then to tamp evenly without twisting and you need to figure out the proper pressure for your specific machine in our case it's i would say medium firm let's just say 30 foot pounds if you can measure that when i'm pulling an espresso shot i like to stack shot glasses so that the espresso doesn't need to fall as far now obviously this is different if I'm pulling a shot into a cup for a latte, which is what we'll do in a second, but this is a, a cool little trick that'll keep your, I don't know, you probably didn't even need to know that to be honest, but your shot pulls as far as you want. A great shot pulls for about 30 to 35 seconds in my opinion, at least for our machine, that's the best tasting espresso. A nice thick head of crema is what you want. That means that you did a good job. And also, your latte art's gonna pour a little nicer. Have you ever seen milk look so sexy? I know I haven't. So now we're gonna grab a cup. Miro made these cups. We'll put a link somewhere so you can check her out. She's an amazing ceramicist here locally, but she's back ordered more than six months, so don't yell at me if you can't get anything from her. Okay, so we're gonna pull a shot, and while that shot is pulling, we're gonna start steaming our milk. So when you're doing a latte, you only want to aerate a very little amount. You're looking for a really velvety texture. When you get the milk just right, you just pour the milk in and it just lays beautifully like a lotus flower. That's how you make a uh, perfectly crafted latte for your morning. Happy 2022, and remember, a craftsman never dies. Thank you for watching. I hope you like our Craftsman series. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. It would help us tremendously. Thanks so much. Uh, space bar? Yep.